Nike confirms that Mason Greenwood is without a sponsor. And Maurizio Pochettino is deluded if he feels that he can win the next World Cup. Jamaica have a lifeline! How about this? Big up Gunners, I hear that. Don't know something that Gunners will say, but big up Gunners. If you are a newcomer, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And yeah, just let's get the video to 100 likes. Thank you guys so much for watching the video yesterday. And getting the video to over 100 likes, we want to keep that going. So yeah, if you're a newcomer, if you are a regular viewer, just go ahead and hit that like button right now. And if you're a regular viewer of this channel and you're a part of that 63% of people who keep watching your channel and are not subscribing, just go ahead right now and hit that fat red subscribe button and smash the notification bell so that you can be notified whenever we do post videos. And you can check us out on our socials at 876Gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee. So in this video, I will be talking about Mason Greenwood and his sponsorship issues, um, clearing it up for mostly the younger viewers who share an interest in sponsorship deals um, as it relates to football players. Um, I know maybe the older folks won't really care a lot about that, but the younger viewers do have an interest in sponsorship deals as it relates to players, which means I am going to cover it. I'll also be sharing my thoughts on a few comments made by Maurizio Pochettino after becoming the new head coach of the U.S. men's national team. Mason Greenwood has been spotted wearing a Nike boots um, so far this season for Marseille, and it has sparked huge talking points among wokeists, whistleblowers, and feminists in Europe about the fact that Nike allegedly was sponsoring Mason Greenwood. Now, Goal.com reported just yesterday that Nike has confirmed after all of this speculation that they are no longer sponsoring Mason Greenwood and he's no longer a Nike athlete. So basically, this news ended all speculation that the soon-to-be reggae boy striker had signed a new deal with Nike. Now, Goal.com also reported that Mason Greenwood was set to sign a contract with Nike before they made a decision to drop him in February 2022 after he was arrested. It is also believed that he was paid no compensation for the deal being terminated and that he's owed outstanding bonus payments. So Mason Greenwood does still wear Nike boots. However, it has been confirmed by Nike that he is no longer a Nike athlete. So if you guys see him wearing any Nike boots, he's just wearing it because he likes it. If you guys see him wearing any Nike um, clothing, he's not endorsing Nike. As an athlete of Nike, he's just wearing Nike products because he likes it. And there's nothing wrong with wearing a Nike product because you like it, right? And as it relates to other sponsorship deals, there has been no report of Mason Greenwood signing any form of contract with any other um, footballing brand um, with sponsorship, right? There has been no other reports of a no Mason Greenwood is sponsorless. Now, heading over into Maurizio Pochettino, who had a few interesting comments after his appointment as the head coach of the U.S. men's national team. He mentioned wanting to win the World Cup and also challenge with the heavyweights of football like the Brazils, um, the Argentinas, the Englands. Well, I was going to say England, but England haven't won anything since 66. So um, the Spains um, and the Francis of this world. He says that he wants to win the World Cup and that he will compete with those countries. He also spoke about wanting to focus on, play, on playing expressive football for the U.S. men's national team, as that is one of the main priorities that the fan base has, right? Not to win football matches, but to, he was stressing so much that the fan base wants to play brilliant football and that he will be focusing a lot on them playing beautiful football. And the perception that I got from that was, if it's a case that, the U.S. men's national team is going up against a tough opposition. And the smarter thing to do would be to sit back. Say they were playing against Spain in the semifinal of a World Cup. And the smarter thing would be to sit back and try to get Spain on the counter. It does not seem as if that is the way Pochettino would go based on how he's speaking. He's speaking as if no matter which opponent they come up against, they are going to go all guns blazing, try to play open, expansive football. And frankly, I don't think that will work. Because they, they have average players, apart from Christian Pulisic, who they hail to be this 
next coming of Christ, right? They they don't really have a whole, a whole lot of quality players. And if that is the way that they want to play, they are going to be caught out and the quality of other teams will shine and they will get spunked. So, yeah, um, I, I, I don't believe that this is the way forward for the U.S. men's national team, if that is the way that Mauricio Pochettino will want to play under any circumstance, right? Uh, that's just my opinion. And personally, I believe the U.S. men's national team have hit their ceiling. I don't think there's much higher that they can achieve in football. Over the past three years, they've gone to um, the run of 16 of the World Cup. I think the highest they've ever went to was, if I'm not mistaken, I didn't research this before the video. So if I'm not mistaken, I think the highest they've ever went to was the quarters, right? So, yeah, I think this specific team, especially I think they're sealing at the round of 16. Um, they've won the Gold Cup and they are Nations League champions. There's not much more to do in CONCACAF. So there's little room for Mauricio Pochettino to go up or to improve on what this team has been doing. The most that he can do is just continue on that trajectory, win the Gold Cup, win the Nations League and try to go one better at the round of 16. Right, which would be the quarterfinals, and I do not see that happening. So, as it relates to Pochettino, I just think that this is a stopgap signing, a signing where he's just dipping his toe into the water just to see how international football feels, um, and just giving the U.S. men's national team FA what they want, right? Um, and as it relates to the U.S. men's national team FA or soccer association, I just feel that they are just flexing their muscles to show the world that they can attract a high value coach. Um, a, a coach that is well known, right? Um, I don't see this ending well. I think the US men's national team would have done better to hire a local coach, right? Someone who has that passion, understands the culture, right? And is going to put his blood, sweat, and tears into really going for those goals, trying to get this team to go one better and will do whatever it takes to win instead of focusing all of his priority on playing expressive football in any context, in any game, which will not work with this level of mediocre players that they have when you compare them on a broader level of international football to the Brazils, the Argentinas, the France, etc. Right? You have to be able to adapt and, and play different style of plays when you have a quality or when you have the, a, a level, a team at the level of the US men's national team. They have average players, right? They have players that play in top leagues, but they are average players in those top leagues, right? Christian Pulisic plays for AC Milan, but he's not a star at AC Milan, right? So I, I, I don't see that coming into fruition the way how they speak of it or the way how they would like it to be. Um, but yeah, if you agree with my comments or you disagree with my comments, leave it down below in the comment section. I'd love to hear your thoughts on this matter. Um, and yeah, you guys can follow us on our socials at 876gunners on Instagram and TikTok. And lastly, if you want to support us monetarily, you can do so by buying us a coffee. And you can find the link below in the description. Remember, 100 likes on this video. Go ahead if you've gotten this far. You know, make the sense of each is fire and like the video. So go ahead, smash that like button and let me know what you think about my thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you next time. Peace. Jamaica have a lifeline. How about this? Big up gunners, I hear that. Don't know something that gunners say, but big up gunners.